Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys, timeless reading. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and for being here today. I have been MIA for a little second there. So let's see, let's see what the cards are showing up for you. This is good for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Also cross watchers, you're more than welcome here. Alright, I'm taking the cards that fall on the table and I'm taking them upright. Messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I invite you to do so if you feel like it. This is the Pisces Club. always check out all of the information that is going to be waiting for you under the description box below including the recently um, released tarot course if you want to learn how to read tarot cards all right Pisces so there's a little bit of everything everything here I'm already seeing it let's see what all of this is about Pisces So there's definitely some heavy energy here. I'm going to start off with that. We have the Tower, Three of Swords, Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords. So that's definitely calling on my attention um, right away. So Pisces. There is something here that is changing. There's something here that has been a change that you've needed to do for a really long time. It's a change you didn't have access to until now. So maybe this has been a long-standing issue, a long-standing problem, and you've been frustrated about it for a really long time, but the answer to it or the resolution just simply wasn't available until now. Now it is. Now you have the answer. Now you have um, that divine intervention that's gonna allow you to move past that for good, okay? Um, but obviously, with deep change and deep transformation, um, sometimes, you know, heartbreaks come in, you know? Sometimes you have to connect to how long this has been a problem, how much it has taken from you, how deeply it has affected you in order to understand the magnitude of this shift. For some of you guys, this could be leaving a job that you've been in for a really long time. I feel the energy is quite heavy, Pisces, I do have to say. Some of you guys may be going through some heavy emotional moments. But interestingly enough, I feel like this is a celebration. It's like you're finally getting to destroy something that you didn't like. It's like you're finally ready to punch something in the face that you've been wanting to punch in the face for a really long time. Like, look at this card. This looks like, like a piñata. They're beating the shit out of it and they're kind of upset, right? But what I'm seeing and what I'm getting here from this card is like the celebration of just destroying the past. And obviously the past is not something to destroy, you know, but for some reason I'm getting this feeling like there, it's cathartic, like it's, it's healing for you to destroy something. Also, I feel like, I feel like this phase of your life, Pisces, it's going to be kind of like struck by lightning. And pushed into this inevitable, intense change that is going to make your life unrecognizable. Like, it's a before and after. Like, maybe if you're 50 years old, like, this time is going to be a before and after. Like, before this moment, the first 50 years of my life, and after this moment, the next whatever years of my life. And no matter what age you're in, I feel like it's a case. Like, right now, 
what I'm getting here through the cards, take what resonates with you, um, is that there is a very deep once in a lifetime is what I'm hearing kind of change that is happening here. So you may be um, guided to take radical decisions or you may feel like radical decisions are being taken for you by the universe. But definitely you are um, in a very empowered way riding into your success, Pisces. There's nothing that's going to stop you. You know, it's like you have all the drive in the world and then the universe has all the drive in the world to push you to, you know, so there's nothing that could stand in your way. However, I do feel um, the energy quite heavy, though. I'm usually never, ever drained um, by the Pisces readings, ever. But as soon as I um, got the cards on the table, I felt like they were kind of heavy. They may be the cards because I didn't really cleanse them all that much. But yeah, it is a once in a lifetime kind of change. It's like a burden that honestly you never thought you were going to release is being released. It's like, I don't know what kind of example I can give you. Like, let's say you've always been a really, really skinny guy. And you've always wanted to have a lot of muscles or be bigger. And you've never been able to do that. And now it's like suddenly out of nowhere, you just grow into this very strong physical body. I don't know. It's like, it's like once and for all, it's just gone. That need to be something, that ache to become something else, that longing to be different or for your life to be different. It's just going to be gone because there's something here that you're going to obtain, attain, like you're going to manifest it. It's going to be manifested for you. I feel like this is not even something that you ever thought you could fix in your life. But then suddenly the answer is here and it's getting fixed for you. I'm trying my best to explain what I'm feeling. I hope that some of you guys kind of understand what I'm trying to say. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Remember not everything is going to be about you. This could be about other Pisces too. But I do feel that once in a life lifetime before and after transformation. That is like the, the strongest energy that I'm getting here. It's like you are celebrating, I'm seeing someone lighting up a fire. Like I'm seeing someone who, I'm seeing a woman in the woods, kind of like dressed in this like ceremonial, kind of like a long dress or um, like a poncho or like very witchy, right? And she is, or she has like a pile of leaves and papers and notes and memorabilia or like just objects that remind her of the past. And it's like all of that energy of her entire life is in that little amount of objects. And then she kind of like pours like gasoline on top of them and just lights it all on fire. And it's the most liberating feeling. Pisces is what I'm getting here. It's like the most liberating because what's getting destroyed is everything. You know, it's like all the limitations that you had making you think that you could only be this way or another way. All the limitations that society has placed upon you. All of the limitations that your wounds have placed upon you. Like everything. It's like the biggest clean slate I've honestly ever felt in a reading, Pisces, to be very honest with you. But a heavy energy too, like a very draining energy too. So it's like a before and after moment that it's taking a lot out of you too. Like this is not an easy thing to do maybe. For some of you guys, you're feeling overwhelmed. For others, you're feeling very anxious, like like intensely anxious, heartbroken, afraid. Many of you are feeling this way. But in the depths of you, you know that you're heading in the right direction. In the depths of you, you know that you are packing your belongings and taking what is worth with you and moving into something better. And if nothing is worth taking with you, then don't take anything with you, Pisces. And I know that's very hard to hear. 
But some of you guys are like, I should probably hold on to someone. I should probably hold on to at least one friend. I might need someone in the future. But you're looking around and you're saying no one here is worth it. Like no one here has my best interest at heart. This is not, I don't want to take anyone into the future with me. But I probably should. No. If you, have, if you don't have anything to take into the future with you, then don't. Just clean slate. Absolute, complete clean slate. It's honestly fascinating places. I'm seeing literally in my mind a clean slate. A white rectangular um, lienzo, like where you paint paintings. So Spirit is asking you, like, what do you want to paint in this new canvas? You know, like, what do you want to paint in this new clean slate? Because you can have anything, Pisces. It's as though time and space stops. And all of the laws of physics are suspended for a second. And the universe is telling you like, okay, so in this second, you can ask for whatever you want and the laws of physics are not going to apply. So go, 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 Pisces. <laughs> and it's like manifestation beyond what manifestation is, if that makes sense. It's like a green light, a free pass from the universe. I wonder what astrological alignments are being reflected in this energy because it's fascinating. Why do I feel this draining energy though? Okay, so what I'm hearing is that there's some people that are trying to grasp for you, trying to grasp your energy in whatever way they can before you leave. So maybe many of you are ending relationships, ending jobs, moving away, physically moving away. Um, and there may be perhaps a Cancer, maybe another Pisces, maybe an Aries or a Leo or a Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's a lot of people here, <laughs> a lot of possibilities. They're trying to hold on to you no matter the cost. And some of them are doing that through draining you. So they're like fighting you and creating conflict and being relentless and just asking you things and trying to control you. And that's the only way they can access your energy. So that's what they're trying to do. So you're well on your way. Honestly, this is kind of incredible, Pisces. Let's see what else is coming through. Let's clean this cards a bit though. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Once in a lifetime change. And it's a good change. It's not like one of those once in a lifetime change that come with a major loss or trauma. No, it's like once in a lifetime, super positive, light, easy change. <laughs> the one you would like, you know, the one that you would ask for. Some of you guys need to hydrate and sleep. You are running, running on fumes, guys. Those of you who feel exhausted and you know you're not taking care of your physical body, don't push it. Hydrate yourself. Find a way to sleep better. It's your responsibility to take care of your body is what I'm hearing. Today, I, um, this is coming to my mind, so it might be relevant for some of you guys. Um, I, well, I saw on Instagram this kind of like meme, and it was like the coronavirus, like displayed as this little like molecule, and it was like, 
like what it said was uh, what was it I like my body runs on weed and anxiety and the coronavirus was saying like the kid like do you live like this like this is nuts something like that and it was like I live on weed and anxiety that's that's what came to my mind so <laughs> Pisces if you're one of those Pisces that are living off um, weed or drugs or you know alcohol or addiction and anxiety please please um, get a grasp on it because apparently the energies that are coming are so strong that they really might make you feel um, pretty bad if you're not like on your best I don't know state of being or whatever not that you need to be perfectly you know healthy or anything just Drink a little bit more water, sleep a little bit more, you know, so you can weather the change a little better. Ugh, what is this? If you're a therapist and you are doing um, entity extraction, uh, parasite, energetic parasite extractions, entity extractions, um, soul retrievals from like really deep subconscious like levels in your patients, um, you may you may want to protect yourself a little bit more. I'm seeing someone. Um, Kind of like bringing in something from somewhere that shouldn't be here. You know what I mean? Yeah, higher levels of protection would be good. Okay, on a lighter note, messages for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Pisces. Six of Pentacles, abundance. Gifts being given. People sharing all the goodness. Gifts, bonuses, inheritance, favors, money, partying, celebrating, victory, joy. Pisces, you get to do what you want. You get to do and celebrate life as you wish. You get to do whatever you want. <laughs> Just know that there's always going to be someone around you that is not happy about that. There's always going to be um, kind of like moths to the flame. Just keep that in mind and know that it's not your responsibility to make everyone feel better. It's not your responsibility to shrink in order for others to feel more comfortable. It's not your responsibility, Pisces, to pay attention to any of this. You are the light, be the light, and burn bright. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, I kind of like that. I can't repeat it though. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're, you're this sun, Pisces. Allow yourself to be the sun, and in that sun, in that fire, in that all-consuming energy, let any negativity burn, incinerate, transmute completely. There's nothing that can harm you, there's nothing that can haunt you, there's nothing that can bother you. There's nothing. Just be in that presence of your light, and that will consume everything.
For those of you who maybe need additional protection that I mentioned earlier, you know, like be in that presence of your own higher self. Like instead of asking like a million things, instead of like placing a bunch of intentions, like please may I be protected of this, of this and this and the other and focusing all of the negative th things, um, focus on your brightness. Ask for your presence to be so bright that it incinerates anything that comes close. May your energy be so pure and so connected to unconditional love that your frequency is just a match to that. You know what I mean? Because I do feel like someone is uh, perhaps a little bit afraid or a little bit, um, yeah, I think afraid, fearful. And they're trying to like protect themselves from something, whether that is an enemy or um, energies or whatever it is. Um, someone here is trying to really protect themselves by focusing on all the possible things that could be wrong. But then you're kind of like feeding off of that negativity, so it would be best for you to like ask for all the things that could go right instead. If that makes sense. This is a very interesting reading, Pisces. Um, I know that it's not really going to resonate with many of you, or at least that's what I'm feeling. Um, but someone here needed to hear this. So I'm grateful. I'm always, always grateful for the presence of these messages. Um, Pisces, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for being a part of the Pisces Club. I'm sorry, guys, if the energy of this reading was a little heavy. I just felt like it was a little heavy. Um, so I apologize for that. I hope that nobody gets drained as I just did. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll see you soon, Pisces. I'll leave all of the information in the description box below. Please check it out. And if by any chance you're having any kind of trouble with your online courses, we've been just notified that PayPal is doing some kind of like, um, PayPal button renovations or something. And we're having some kind of like weird things going on on the PayPal page. So if you have any issues, please contact us at awakenedwildchild at gmail.com and we'll answer all of your questions. Awakenedwildchild at gmail.com. So yes, my fishies, good night. I love you. <laughs> Bye.